the sign of was to repent. They knock on my door. I said, can you read? Yeah, I point to the sign. Can you read? How many watts are you running, Ron? I missed that. How many watts? I'm running about 200 watts less than what you normally hear me at. If that will answer your question and, and make you stop asking me that question. Well, I can't understand what you're saying. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Uh, get a relay. Uh, how many watts? Over. Not enough for your stupid ass antenna to hear me. I got to write it down. I'm, I'm, I'm for the law. How many I'm watts are you running? I that your antenna sucks. Your My antenna does not you. suck. I got 260 yeah, feet of whir up there. Uh, <laughs> I got 260 feet of whir. Can you watch uh, six feet off the ground? No, about 50, almost 50. Over. I hear everything except for us. Okay. He's not sure if anybody hears him. I never worry about lightning strikes. I always worry about lightning. I always unplug. Lower it down to six feet. It'll be like a clothesline, you know. Some kid will be riding his bike across my yard. And he'll get clotheslined. Well, oh, they shouldn't have been in my damn backyard then. Yeah, but then you gotta go out there and you got a decapitated person in your backyard. Cool. Hey, I said another one. Be a heavy. All right, Dad. Try to stop the vicious rumors that Possum was spreading uh, by telling uh, uh, him that no, I talked to him today, but uh, but Possum chose to ignore that. I can't copy him. Maybe you ought to get one of those new super hunter down here savers, Joe. There's a storm. There's a storm yeah, off the east coast. Yeah, it's it's pretty far job. from me, but boy, it's really wrecking my receiver. You don't even have any receiver. What are you talking about? Ron won't shut up for a second. That 7300 isn't doing jobs this year in Paris, but sucks. My antennas don't suck, Ron. Right? <laughs> You're hearing me, and I'm too uh, I guess uh, you should stop asking me what did I say. Why don't you listen for a minute? Okay. 
Then I'll have to change that story entirely. I didn't know that. Asshole had a nationality. Uh, no, there are assholes in every nationality. Right, right. And you know what? 3860 has its own house resident example of that. And he appears as ugly, greasy head every now and then. And he's on frequency right now. And, uh, Joe, stop that shit, okay? Stop saying things about me. Stop saying things about me. I don't have a regular spread with you. There's no reason for you to have my name in the call in your lips. You got okay. the temptation. Okay, I got it, except we got a skit. Our skit is uh, every night after the Eastern Regional Patriot Net, we have a skit, and I'll always be here. You don't hear me? Come out here. Come not here. always. Oh, I'm always here, unless it's lightning, and then I'm not here. No, never do that. You can look at the lightning map, and you can predict if I'm going to be here. I'm really scared of one. Both sides, I they both do that. They can't hey, can't trust you. Be careful and don't threaten him now. Oh, I've already been threatened. It's all the Julie document. I think the email already got the email. You have a bit friendly. They're trying to flip you like a I got a thing here that uh, my buddy just sent it to the, uh, you know. That's true, Kyle. It's never me, though. It's never me. It's always somebody else. You have never met the fault. You admit it one call, you'd probably gain a friend every night if you could do that, but you're not humble about it. I can't understand you. Talk slower. That's oh, it. You can understand me. Where do you think I'm talking from? Russia? I live in North... If you can understand a Mexican, you can understand a Canadian. Talk to me like a shrimp. When you talk too fast and there's lightning and your signal's weak, I can't understand you. Goodbye. for about three months, and he can't figure out how to fix it. So how smart could he be? It doesn't matter what you think. 
Well, I'm just telling you the truth. If he was smart, he would have had that SD-220 fixed by now. Oh, you couldn't tell the truth at all, Joe. There you go. I am a truth teller, a truth teller. There you go. There's another one. You can ask me a bunch of questions, and I'll answer them immediately. I'll tell you the perverse truth. And ask me a question, and I'll answer it. That, uh, that deviates from normalcy. You're a liar and you're a conspiracy theory nut job. Emphasis on the nut job. You're a QAnon moron. I think uh, Mike might be a flat earther. He believes in the flat earth. <laughs> Every wacky conspiracy theory, that's N2LYM. He believes it. So the turtles with gravel. I am not a pothead. Not that I, not that I see anything wrong with it. Okay, what about being in the golf or something fanatical? Something that you can be a little bit OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. You got anything? I think that's ham radio. Uh, yeah, but we don't want to accept you and give you the certification for that. You know, I really liked it better when we thought Ron was dead. So we like to be peon. Now here comes Timmy. That's just it, Tammy. You know, he's seeing a friggin' peon. He doesn't want to be fine business. He doesn't want to take his piece of the puzzle. Try and fit it into the grid. He wants to... You're a bad man, Joe. I'm just spinning him up. He was never invited to the party. Uh, I don't need an invite. He's a bad person. I don't need an invite. Go to my party uninvited. I'll throw you through the window. Oh, you exactly. couldn't throw anything through the win window. You just got it back from your cardiologist. What the heck's it's wrong with you? You're not Superman. Superman. You could throw you through the window, Italiano. You ain't got much. You, you're not Superman, Timmy. You just got back from your cardiologist and you sparked up one. You're smoking dope the same day you went to your cardiologist. All you do is jiggle it to the people, Joe, all day. Ha ah! oh, it's true. Isn't it true? Joe, he sits around all day just trying to get information on people. He isn't that cute. He said it on 3844. He got back from the cardiologist and he was smoking dope. Oh, I'm smoking dope right now, dope head. What kind of dope are you smoking? Let's hear it. Larry's an expert. He could probably give me the uh, interpretation. I don't know any of the lingo. I heard ITN's on his radio house. ITN's history, man. He's just, somebody got rid of him. Yeah, he's history. He's in a cab on his way to your house with a hacks. No problem. <laughs> he's going to butcher you up, Joe. He couldn't do it. I take on all comers. I wouldn't be afraid of Joe, Tim. Oh, Tim, he was got back Joe. from his cardiologist and he's yeah, smoking dope. I'd be afraid of Joe. He, uh, he sounds to me like a pretty rough customer. Yes, sir, indeed. That's right. He shaves his pubic hair. Don't kid yourself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Them guys that do that, though, they're pretty rough. So, uh, I wouldn't want to mess with him. What are these guys constantly thinking about, Possum? That's Surrey Bob. Yeah, maybe he's Throw you down on the floor and stomp on the back of your neck and do all kinds of things to contort your body until it died. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Jimmy got such a good report from the cardiologist that he came home and got high. You know, that's just my opinion. He talks pretty rough, and, you know, them guys, you can just back off and leave them guys alone. Well, but you said it, Jimmy. You said you went to the cardiologist. You're telling the uh, uh, KX2V. And you said, uh, wait a minute, I'm smoking some dope. It's really good stuff. Throw it out your ass.